Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn about current sources and sinks. What do you mean by current source and what do you mean by current sink? Current source is nothing but the one which supplies the current. Current sinks is nothing but which draws the current. That is the meaning of current source and sink. Suppose if you take according to that definition what I told, this is the current source we are having the current source with a constant current supply i and we are connecting a load after this then what happens it takes the supply like this as vdd it takes the supply and produces a constant current i <coughs> towards this load and it will be flowing like this now what happens in this situation current source produces the current and load draws the current load takes the current always if load takes the current then we can say it is current source here the current source is acting as this particular device is acting as a current sourcing device <coughs> current sourcing device it supplies the current to the load then this is known as current sourcing circuit suppose if the same case we are taking the load in the upper side and this circuit this particular uh, current source is in the bottom then this is the VDD and it takes the current the current flows through this load and then it passes through this current source this particular device then what happens it draws the current from the load this particular device whatever the sh device shown with I this particular device draws the current from the load then this is known as current sink <coughs> Okay, so current source is a device which produces the current to the load, which supplies the current to the load. Current sink is a device which draws the current from the load, which takes the current from the load. Okay, this is the meaning of current source and current sink. Current source. supplies the current to the load current sink draws the current from the load <coughs> this is the meaning of current source and current sink now our aim is to create the particular current source or current sink, uh, current sink whatever i stated here need to be created by using a mass transistor in our circuits suppose if you are taking a mass transistor okay this particular mass transistor can be acting as a constant current source if it is provided with a constant gate supply like VGG irrespective of the type of the transistor whether it is a p-type or n-type transistor <coughs> okay so if a p-type or n-type transistor is supplied with a constant gate voltage like VGG then this device is acting as a constant current supply that means without changing the input voltage it simply acts as a constant current source okay so a simple a simple current source or sink can be constructed using a fixed gate voltage to a PMOS or NMOS transistors respectively. So what is the meaning of this one? A constant current source a simple current source or sink current source or sink can be constructed using a fixed gate supply at the input of the 
P mass or N mass transistors respectively. Respectively means here, see the source can be constructed by using P mass device and sync can be constructed by using N mass device. So P mass is acting as a current sourcing device and N mass is acting as a current syncing device that we should understand here. So P mass is a current sourcing transistor and NMOS is a current syncing transistor okay so provided we should maintain the threshold we should maintain the VDS voltages like it is VS, VGS minus VT okay it is less than VS suppose if you are taking the uh, drain to source voltage VDS that should be less than VGS minus VT which is the uh, effective gate voltage okay now let us see what are the characteristics of this uh, constant current source sensing one more important point here what I should discuss <coughs> I will write in red color so that you can understand current source R sync suppose if you are taking a circuit and we are saying that circuit is a current sourcing circuit or current sinking circuit that particular circuit is also known as also known as very important term current mirror circuit current mirror circuit okay very 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 important current mirror circuit is none other than current source or current sink okay that may be either made up of p mass transistors or it may be either made up of n mass transistors depending upon the current sourcing or sinking okay so current mirror circuit why it is current mirror circuit current mirror circuit is nothing but there are two branches actually those two branches are having the same current whatever the current flowing through the branch one the same current also flows through the branch two okay so that that is the current mirror circuit is going to be formed now let us see what are the basic characteristics of this current source and sink. See if you see this diagram, I told you there are two branches to create this constant current source by using the PMOS transistor or NMOS transistor. See this, the first one is a current source. This is current source. Current source. What is the device used for the current source? I told you PMOS or NMOS? PMOS. See here, the current ID is passing from the PMOS transistor. Here, M1 is the main sourcing circuit uh, transistor, which is nothing but a PMOS transistor. Observe clearly, we, here we are having <coughs> number of circuits will come in the next slides. All these circuits appears to be similar, but not same. Okay, so what I told you, a PMOS transistor is acting as a current sourcing device. It is if it is provided with a constant input gate supply. So this is the VGG, VGG constant input gate supply that is supplied to this PMOS transistor. So that a constant current flows through this PMOS transistor which is ID and this current flows through the load. This is the resistance which is acting as a load. This is what the statement I told you in the first slide. <coughs> okay, a constant current source followed by a load, a constant current device followed by a load, this particular branch is known as a constant current source. Now, in order to provide this constant VGG, we are having a setup on the left hand side with the transistors M2 and M3. These two transistors are connected in a fashion such a way that they should give a constant uh, voltage at the input of this particular transistor M1 as VDD. See the transistors properly. This is the source terminal. This is the drain terminal. And again for this M2 transistor, this is drain terminal. This is source terminal. So drain and this gate terminal, these two are short circuited for the transistor M2. And similarly, the gate and drain of this transistor M3 are short circuited. The meaning of this gate and drain are short circuited means it is simply constructed in a resistance fashion. Okay, I told you already 
uh, in the analysis of uh, small signal analysis of this mass transistors when a gate and drain are short circuited it simply acts like a resistor okay when <coughs> see for transistors m2 and m3 for transistors m2 and m3 the gate and drain are short circuited it means they act as high resistance okay the meaning for connecting gate and drain short circuited to give you a high resistance here so that means from this VDD, we are having a resistance in place of this M3 and as well as a resistance in place of this M2. So, a voltage divided network, here we are having a voltage division network. Okay, this voltage division network will give a constant supply VGG, which is nothing but we can say half of this input voltage VDD and that is appeared at the input of the transistor M1. Hope you understand now how this uh, VGG is going to be constant with the uh, explanation of these resistors similarly if you take the nmos transistor as a current sinking circuit see here this is current sinking circuit same setup we are using same setup just in place of this transistor here we have used a resistor and at the bottom in place of resistor we have used a NMOS transistor. We know NMOS transistor should be connected in the pull down place and PMOS transistor should be connected in the pull up place. So, according to that theory, we have interchanged the positions of these two and this is an NMOS transistor. Here, M1 is an NMOS transistor which is taking the current, which draws the current from the load. That's why this is the direction and ID is the current sinking current. Okay. Same setup here we have used on the left hand side m3 and m2 to give you a constant current supply surprisingly the current which is flowing through this branch on the left hand side the current on the right hand side both are equal that is the reason why they are called as current mirrors why they are called as current mirrors suppose see the characteristics of this characteristics of this current source and current source. so current sourcing characteristics between vdd and id so, the characteristics are having, initially, we are having maximum current and when VDD increases slowly, then what happens? Current decreases and goes to zero. But the expected characteristics are like this. Expected characteristics are like this. That means the characteristics should be like this. It's like a rectangular shape. But we know practically we cannot achieve this type of characteristics. So, practical characteristics are having some slope and as well as some residual voltage called V min. Similarly, with the, with respect to this current sinking characteristics, in the current sinking also we are having V minimum a residual voltage and as well as slope. Okay. So, if you see the slope which is equal to 1 by R naught or output resistance of the particular current source or current sinking circuit. And another parameter we have to minimize is V min. V min. See here. If slope becomes 0, if slope becomes 0, then this characteristic curve will meet the ideal characteristic curve. And similarly, if V min is equal to 0, this characteristic curve will meet the ideal characteristic curve. So, if you want to create a better current mirror circuit, then we have to concentrate on these two parameters, which is nothing but slope and as well as V min. Okay. So, for good current mirroring, or we have to create current sourcing circuit and current sinking circuit in order to have such good characteristics of those two slope and 
v min should be very minimum values okay those two values should be very minimum that means we have to concentrate on v min reduction and r out that means output resistance of the current mirror circuit should increase and as well as v minimum should reduce these are the two important parameters see what happens when r not increases slope we cannot reduce directly definitely we should take one of the transistor parameters that is nothing but output resistance so output resistance if you increase definitely slope gets reduced so that's why r not should be increased and v minimum should be reduced if you concentrate on these two parameters definitely you will be having better current mirroring circuits okay so the types and configurations of different types of uh, the current mirroring circuits i will explain in the next video Thank you.